Hey there, I'm Tim Burnett, and this is the Solo Hunter Podcast. Hunt, film, survive, and thrive, whether at 10,000 feet or in your own living room. We're talking hunting, business, and life with self-sufficient-minded individuals. This is episode number one. You gotta have a story. No, forget the story. Everybody's doing something. We'll do nothing. They say, what's your show about? I say nothing. There you go. It's about nothing. I think you may have something here. This is episode number one, the very first, uh, well, technically not the first podcast because I've already already recorded six or seven different podcasts, but it took me a little bit of a little bit of time to um, establish the format and the opening lines and everything of how I wanted to do it. Um, I didn't have a plan coming into the podcast other than uh, an idea and wanting to share a little bit more information about solo hunting and sp- in specifically and uh, self-sufficient lifestyle, whether that might be in hunting or in, in life. Um, it's something that I've really focused on in my life is being able to be self-sufficient, do it yourself on your own, all those types of things um, when you don't, when you may or may not have that support system around you. So this podcast is designed to be less like a podcast and more like um you know, a backstory or information gathering interview style, you know, of, of trying to get information from people that have, have good knowledge, but also to share stories from people that have great stories. So you're going to hear a lot from myself, Remy Warren, um, a lot of other people that cross our paths that we're inspired by what this podcast will be is, a little bit of a, a look into the backstory of a lot of the hunts and adventures that we go on. It will be um, a lot of the backstory of hunts that other people go on, people that um, we associate with and that we know, friends, family, those that, that cross our paths. We'll be sharing some solo stories from from some, uh, you know, I can't use the word fans. I really don't like that word followers. I definitely don't like that word. We'll be sharing some solo stories from uh, like-minded individuals in the solo nation um, and those that share those with us, but whether it be on social media, uh, email, or through this podcast. So I'm sorry, but if, if you're listening to this podcast, you're going to get things that I'm down with and um, people that I'm, I'm interested in and, and completely and totally inspired by. So uh, hopefully that works out for, for a lot of you. If you are listening to the teasers of each episode, then, um, we encourage you to, to become an all access member so that you can listen to the, to it in its entirety, as well as see the video sides of it. A lot of these podcasts, you know, a couple of them that I've already done monster bucks, great stories with Ryan Lampers, Remy Warren, Joel Pilcher, Uh, David Wise, Olympic gold medalist. We've got some great content that we're going to be sharing. And the video side of this is going to be quite captivating or is quite captivating. I I say going to be like, I never want to be the going to be guy because everybody that's going to do something never gets anything done. I'm saying this, it will be because like I say, we've recorded eight podcasts already, um, edited four of them. And there's some great content, visual content, audio content, things that I learned immensely. You know, in a lot of ways, this podcast is very, very selfish for me because I have an inquisitive mind. I don't feel like I'm an educated, learned person like a Stephen Ranella or a Joe Rogan or some of these guys that are really, really good at what they do with their podcast. Brian, Brian um, Call, those guys are extremely literate. At least on the outset, they appear to be extremely literate to me. Um, they study up on a lot of different topics, read a lot of books. Me, I'm just a live life kind of guy. Um, you know, there was a time in my life when I read a ton of books. There was a time when I did a lot of studying, a lot of research, a lot of background. But really, I just like to do things and make things happen. I don't like to research things at all, whether it be a hunt or whether it be uh historical background on anything. Um, I just like to live life and do things the way that, that makes me happy because that makes me happy to feel like I live free, live free, do free and not feel, 
I, I actually feel constrained when I feel like I have to study or, or learn something. So this podcast is going to be very similar to that. You know, I can see the need for, for that kind of stuff, but really I just want this to be fun and free. And if it becomes work for me, then I'm not going to be passionate about it. And that's the, that's the once the same thing with solo hunter is, is if it ever becomes work for me, then I'm not going to be as passionate about it. And sometimes you've seen a little bit of that in some of the, some of the videos that I've done and, and sometimes not. So, uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell, you know, um, again, if you're a subscriber listening to these podcasts in their entirety, thank you. Uh, you've shown support to solo hunter. We we're trying to show our support back to you by providing you great content, um, from people that we have like-minded interests with. Uh, I feel like a lot of you that are, that we communicate with and that are consuming the content that we put out there, whether it's on the video side, audio side, now, uh, photos, social media, any of those types of things. I feel like we all have a lot in common, but we also have a lot to learn from. So be looking for some calls to action from a lot of you out there to share your stories. I'd like to read, read a lot of your stories on air and in this podcast and share them, uh, potentially get some of you to interview, uh, as our paths make cross and just continue to grow, grow the solo nation. The other thing is I really, even though I have sponsors on the television side and on the video side and on the personal ambassadorship side, I don't ever want to feel like I have to bring that into the podcast um, intentionally to generate revenue, to give myself a paycheck, to be able to basically pay for the ability to continue with the podcast. Through the all access membership membership subscriptions, you know, it's it's very inexpensive to be able to have access to our complete video library as well as the complete audio library. That is that will enable me to not have to go out and sell sponsorships for this. Uh, the last thing I want to do is is cram the first three minutes full of of advertising or any of that, or feel like I have to um, interject brands and, and that type of thing in there unless unless it fits you know uh, I don't know if you if you can grasp what I'm saying is, is like I don't want to have to feel like oh I got to interview this guy because you know I've got to I've got to market this product and that then it's not going to be authentic it's not going to be real if I want to talk about a product or talk about something that I use it's going to be authentic it's going to be intentional and it's going to be something that I feel will add value to the listeners um, to be able to make you know good decisions on maybe some of the equipment they buy, maybe some of the services that they use or any of those types of things. But right now on the agenda, everything is all about it's hunting season. I'm traveling, Remy's traveling, Boyd's traveling. Um, we're going to interview each other a lot. We've got some great episodes with Remy coming up. I'm actually going to, to film another one and another interview on Monday from his Alaska trips and just share some of these stories, not live, but, but pretty damn quick after they all happen so that you're not half constantly waiting for those episodes to come out. So, uh, I think that's about it. I didn't, I had a little, uh, bullet list here of notes that I wanted to cover, but, uh, uh, as I can see, I kind of bounced around. I mentioned a little bit before that my mind works a little bit faster than my mouth does, which is kind of shocking. But sometimes when the words that are coming out of my mouth, my mind's already somewhere else. And by the time it all catches up, it doesn't always, doesn't always match. So I guess in summary, thank you so much for the continued support that you've shown uh, me and Remy and Solo Hunter over the years. We're now filming for season nine of the TV show. The TV show is, is evolving. We're still on the outdoor channel. Um, Still plan on being on the outdoor channel for the foreseeable future as long as it makes sense financially and um, makes sense for us, makes sense for them, makes sense for our for our sponsors. But this all access platform is really, really where we're excited to share our content. We can do it on our terms in our time. We can release additional content that's not necessarily in television format. We've got some solo journals that we've recorded where whether we're at a high time or a low time out at 10,000 feet or in the middle of the desert, we're sharing our feelings and our stories and relating those things because there's a lot of instances that might help someone 
when they're in the field and in a downtime and they can think back on a podcast that, that we talked about where Remy may have been dragging his feet and, and figured out a way to, to get himself out of a, out of a slump, or I may have been talking myself out of going home from a hunt early. You just don't know. So all of those things we want to be able to share. And that is, that's really, it's been kind of an awakening to me on the podcast side because I've fought it for a long time. Uh, I've been a guest on several podcasts, great ones. Uh, I'm a fan of podcasts. I like listening to them. There's a lot of good information. And I think that's one area in the hunting community where the hunting industry really caught on faster than it normally does to, to mainstream media. And the podcasts have really taken off. There are tons of them that are just awesome. So I felt like I'm like, my mentality was, well, I'm, I'm a guest on a lot of these podcasts. Remy's a guest on a lot of these podcasts. We don't need to, we don't need to do our own. Let somebody else put the effort into it and the time and the investment. And we can go out get out there and talk about our stories, you know, when, when we have those opportunities. But, uh, the more I thought about that, the more I thought, you know, that's a little bit, it's kind of selfish in a way. Um, because I was thinking of that for my own gain. It's like, okay, if I'm going to go on Gritty's podcast, he's got X number of downloads. His fan base is huge. We can talk about this. I can interject a little bit about the brand, share my stories, um, and really make the most out of that one hour. And that's, that's good for me. And I had to, had to take a minute and step back and say, well, is that, is that good for Brian? You know, or is, is it when I go on someone else's show, is that good for them? Um, and you hope that it is, but at the end of the day, um, I don't, I didn't, I felt like all the interviews were directed towards me and asking me questions and getting information of in my head out there. And I felt like I was repeating myself over and over and over. And I was, I was like, man, I'm sharing the same stories. I, I'm like, I'm not that interesting of a person. I, I am getting burned out. Yeah. Burned out about, talking about what I'm talking about. Um, my, my brain's only so big. There's only so much information in there. I found myself wanting to turn the tide and interview them, you know, because I want to know what they know. I want to hear what they, what they've done and experienced and everything just kind of really fell into place with the timing of it all. I mean, I've been, I've been gonna start a podcast for two years or three years, but I just, it just never, never happened until, just a few weeks ago, I was driving home from my hunt in Nevada, and I remember thinking, I wonder if my radio still works, because I literally had not turned the radio on in my truck for, I, I think the last time the radio was on in my truck was on my drive to Texas last November, just before the election, because I was so enthralled in what was going on, and being in Texas, once I got there, I got there on Tuesday, Monday, and I wasn't able to hear the election results until the following Saturday. And um, I just remember that that was the last time that I felt like I wanted to listen to anything. And since then, the radio in my truck has not turned on until I started thinking about it on my way back from Nevada. And I reached up to, to hit the knob and turn it on and see what was going on. I'm like, you know, last few months have been pretty dang awesome. Not, not knowing what's going on or not really caring what's going on. I shouldn't say not caring, but like not paying so close of attention of what's going on in the world politically and, and socially and everything else. I was like, you know, I'm not going to do that. And I just let my brain wander. And that's when the idea hit me of, Hey, let's do these, let's do these podcasts less like a podcast and more like a, like solo hunter, more just an extension of what we're already doing, whether it be our social media or whether it be our, the TV show or all these solo nation assets that I wanted to get out there that I've never been able to. And so it just kind of hit me. So I picked up the phone right there while I was driving. I think I was somewhere on the black rock desert or something. I don't know. And I called Remy and I'm like, hey, are you in town yet? And he said, he's like, yeah, I just got back this morning. So I literally drove to my house. I didn't even shower. I just grabbed some clothes, um, grabbed a, an, an extra tripod and some things and headed to his house. And we sat down and just just jammed for a couple of hours, you know, and caught up on caught up on our hunts that we had done and just jammed. 
And I was like, you know what? This is stuff. We got to share this. Um, we got to get these stories out. There's so many times when I run into a buddy or something and we just get to talking and chit-chatting. And at the end of it, I'm like, oh, we should have totally recorded that conversation. That was that was fun, you know. And now we're going to be, be doing those. So I think I've rambled on enough for an introductory podcast episode. You guys have probably three quarters of the people that tuned in to begin with are probably gone. Those of you that have stuck around, you're awesome. You are the, you are the true hardcore soloist. So I appreciate that. Um, that's it. If you have any questions or anything about this podcast, about Solo Hunter, about myself, about Remy, about anything, shoot me an email. I will give you not my personal email. I'll give you my Solo Hunter email. It's Tim, T-I-M, at Solo hntr.com tim at solohunter.com and the hunter is hntr please send in your solo stories i'd like to be able to read some of those on air and share those love to see pictures and share that on social media and just feel like i'm more a part of something than just myself and talking to my cameras in my messy crappy little office talking to myself uh, that really, that really does bring me up and lift me when I'm able to see and share, share your stories and feel like, um, feel like I'm not just beating my head against the wall, you know, feel like I may be influencing s- some people, but also when I'm spending so much time hunting solo, I don't get to share those hunting stories. So please send those in and, and let's get that stuff, sh- get the, that stuff out there. So look for a lot of new things. We're already working on an app for the video side of it. So um, we'll just make those announcements as we go. I appreciate you all listening and hope you tune in to the next episode because Remy shares some some good stuff about his hunt in Nevada. We kind of prelude into his upcoming Alaska adventures, which he actually is on now or just getting back today from. So uh, again, appreciate everything and we hope to talk to you guys all soon. Have a story. Oh, forget the story. Everybody's doing something. We'll do nothing. They say, what's your show about? I say nothing. There you go. It's about nothing. I think you may have something here.